it louder. Say it louder. I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my boy! There Will Be Blood is easily Daniel Day-Lewis' most iconic role. But how did he transform into Daniel Plainview? Find out how a combination of voices from the past, period accurate technology, and one famous vampire helped Daniel Day-Lewis truly inhabit this character. Also, did he really build his own oil derrick? Around 2005, director Paul Thomas Anderson was feeling homesick for California when he picked up a copy of Upton Sinclair's novel Oil in a London bookshop. Paul Thomas Anderson was so inspired by Sinclair's story of an oil tycoon and his son that he immediately started writing a screenplay, with Daniel Day-Lewis in mind for the lead role. After Daniel Day-Lewis accepted the role, Paul Thomas Anderson went out in search of funding. This journey took so long, he ended up with two full years to prepare for the role, which is impressive considering that co-star Paul Dano only got about four days. Paul Thomas Anderson says he considers There Will Be Blood to be a horror film, and he turned to one classic monster when conceiving the role of Daniel Plainview. From his character introduction as being cloaked in darkness underground, to his relentless lust for the blood of the land. Every day, I drink the blood of lamb from Bandish Track. To the way Daniel Day-Lewis stalks around every scene. You look like a fool, don't you, Tilford? <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse him, gentlemen. I told you what I was going to do. The Dracula inspiration permeates many aspects of this performance. Daniel Day-Lewis is famous for method acting, but his attempt to stay in character between takes almost got him in trouble. In the first week, I didn't want to see any dailies. I, I, I just, I, sometimes I do, and this I just didn't want to, and that was that. But, but after a couple of days of work, Paul said, um, I think you should see something. So I went to see something with him. And the scene that, that we reshot, in fact, we kind of found a different way to do it. And it was, it was a blessing. But I saw this. Yeah. <laughs> is that what it is? Is that what it's going to be? That's not going to work. That's it, just you not did. Gonna... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't a... It, it, felt, it felt like a like one was radically off course but in fact it, the the correction was something that was you know relatively after a course correction that meant several long reshoots daniel day lewis decided that his method would have to include stepping out of character long enough to check in with the real world occasionally and the resulting choices are perfect well, not perfection. <laughs> Even if you know nothing about the film itself, you're probably aware of Daniel Plainview's unique speaking voice. Ladies and gentlemen, if I say I'm an oil man, you will agree. I'm an oil man. I'm an oil man. I love oil. But how does one craft a period accurate voice from a time with no method of recording sound? Daniel Day-Lewis read thousands of letters sent by turn-of-century miners and oil workers to their families and friends. He says that from these letters, he was able to intuit cadence, slang, and enough of a sense of voice to improvise whole speeches. And while Daniel Day-Lewis tried to eschew as much modern technology as possible during filming, he relied on a dictaphone to record different versions of the voice. I work with a very primitive little recording mechanism, sending Paul these tiny little tapes from time to time, just saying, look, this is where I am now, because uh, he, he lives in California, I live in Ireland and we needed to just keep in touch just to know what you know what the other was doing at any given moment and i didn't want to stray too far of course though to his credit this is the first time in a while that modern technology and dictaphone have been used in the same sentence how do you ever talk about that thing without making it sound kind of grotesquely self-important. Another inspiration behind the signature Plainview Rasp is John Houston from the Golden Age Western Treasure of the Sierra Madre. Let 
am I? Ha, let me tell you something, my two fine bedfellows. You're so dumb, there's nothing to compare you with. You're dumber than the dumbest jack. Look at each other. Paul Thomas Anderson made Daniel D. Lewis watch that movie over and over, and that influence shows. Aren't you a healer? And a vessel for the Holy Spirit? But Daniel Day Lewis's commitment to the character goes deeper than just the voice. He insisted on having full approval over every costume Daniel wears in the movie. And you'll notice how that attention to detail helps differentiate between his scrappy days in the field, to his more polished salesman persona, to his Howard Hughes-esque final moments as a money decrepit. And while the best actors wear many metaphorical hats, Daniel Day-Lewis spent many hours finding the exact perfect literal hat to wear for a huge portion of the movie, meaning those sweat stains are 100% real. Though this would prove to be another time when his preference for method acting butted heads with production, as it was extremely hard to light his face when he insisted on wearing the hat in so many scenes. But even those shadows work in his favor, because it gives the audience the sense that they only ever get to see the parts of Daniel Plainview that he wishes you to see. Daniel Day Lewis's character study also included learning to use period correct oil drilling tools, a process that he perfected during the two years of prep we mentioned earlier. And while he didn't actually build an oil derrick in his backyard, he was definitely tempted. And considering that all the oil used in the movie was actually powdered chocolate, we'd be tempted to have a vat at our house too. I drink your milkshake. DIY oil derrick notwithstanding, Daniel Day Lewis's efforts oozes through every scene. The performance was so evocative, it earned him his second of three Oscars. And the character of Daniel Plainview is engraved in our memory forever. That's the closest I'll ever come to getting a knighthood, so thank you. Tell us in the comments what you think of his performance, and let us know what actress's process you'd like us to analyze in our next video. Until then, in the words of Daniel Day-Lewis himself, I'm finished. <laughs>